10. Thomas Plunkett died in 1851 Rifleman Plunkett was an Irish soldier in the British 95th Rifles. What makes him one of the greats is that he shot a very impressive French general, Auguste Marie Francois Colbert. During the battle at Cacabellos during Monroe's retreat in 1809, Plunkett, using a Baker rifle, shot the French general at a range of about 600 meters. Giving the incredible inaccuracy of rifles in the early 19th century, this was either a very impressive feat or one hell of a fluke. Well, Plunkett, not wanting his army buddies to think he was a bit lucky, decided to take the shot again before returning to his line. So, he reloaded his gun and aimed once again, this time at the trumpet major who had come to the general's aid. When this shot also hit its intended target, proving that Plunkett is just one badass marksman, he looked back to his line to see the impressed faces of the others in the 95th Rifles. Just for comparison, the British soldiers were all armed with brown Bess muskets and trained to shoot into a body of men at 50 meters. Plunkett did 12 times that distance. Twice. Read about one of history's greatest snipers. Buy American Sniper. Memorial Edition at Amazon.com. 9 Charles Chuck, Mawinney 1949-8 Mawinney 625 x 450103 confirmed kills Mawinney was an avid hunter as a kid and joined the Marines in 1967. He served in the U.S. Marine Corps during Vietnam and holds the record for the number of confirmed kills for Marine snipers, bypassing that of legendary Marine sniper Carlos Hathkick. In just 16 months, he killed 103 enemies, and another 216 kills were listed as probable by the military, only because it was too risky at the time to search the bodies for documents. When he left the Marines, he told no one his role during the conflict, and only a few fellow Marines knew of his assignments. It was nearly 20 years before somebody wrote a book detailing his amazing skills as a sniper. Mawinney came out of anonymity because of this and became a lecturer in sniper schools. He was once quoted as saying, it was the ultimate hunting trip, a man hunting another man who was hunting me. Don't talk to me about hunting lions or elephants, they don't fight back with rifles and scopes. I just loved it. I ate it up. A routinely deadly shot from distances between 300 to 800 yards, Mawinney had confirmed kills of over 1,000 yards, making him one of the greatest snipers of the Vietnam War. 8 Chris Kyle April 8, 1974 to February 2, 2013, American Sniper, Chris Kyle talks life at home after war 150 confirmed kills a Navy SEAL sniper born in Texas, Chris Kyle is probably the best known person on this list because of his 2012 autobiography, American Sniper, uh, and the subsequent 2015 film of the same title directed by Clint Eastwood in which Kyle was played by Bradley Cooper, and because of the tragic circumstances of his death. The exact number of confirmed kills he made in Iraq has been debated, but it stands somewhere around 150, he estimates having made another 100 unconfirmed kills. He took the title for the highest number of kills by an American sniper from Waldron, see below. He was awarded the Silver Star, four Bronze Stars with, V, Devices, a Navy and Marine Corps Achievement Medal, and many unit and personal awards. Like Hathkick, the enemy had a nickname for Kyle. They called him, al Shaitan Ramadi, which means, the Devil of Ramadi. They placed a bounty on his head that kept increasing until it reached $80,000. Among the US military, including the Marines he was tasked with protecting, he became known simply as, The Legend. The nickname started among Kyle's fellow SEALs after he took a sabbatical to train snipers in Fallujah and famously took a 2,100-yard shot that killed an insurgent sniper aiming at U.S. military personnel outside Sadr City in 2008. Kyle said it was, a straight-up luck shot. After four tours of duty in Iraq, he'd been shot twice and survived six separate IED attacks. He retired from the military in 2009. In 2013, Kyle was tragically murdered along with his friend, Chad Littlefield, at the Rough Creek Lodge shooting range near Chalk Mountain, Texas. The man who killed them, Eddie Ray Ruth, was a U.S. Marine with PTSD. He was sentenced to life in prison without parole for the murders. 7 Rob Furlong 1976-925928 A former corporal of the Canadian Forces, Furlong holds the record for the longest confirmed sniper kill in history at 1.51 miles or 2,430 meters. That's the length of about 26 football fields. This amazing feat occurred in 2002 when he was involved in Operation Anaconda. 
His sniper team consisted of two corporals and three master corporals. When a three-man Al-Qaeda weapons team moved into a mountainside position, he aimed. Furlong was armed with a .50 caliber Macmillan Brothers TAC-50 rifle and loaded with a max very low drag bullets. He fired and missed. His second shot hit the enemy's knapsack on his back. He had already fired his third shot by the time the second hit, but now the enemy knew he was under attack. The airtime for each bullet was about 3 seconds due to the immense distance, enough time for an enemy to take cover. However, the dumbfounded militant realized what was happening just in time to take the third shot in the chest. 6. Vasily Zaitsev. Walk 23, 1915 December 15, 19916 Zaitsev 625 X450242 confirmed kills Zaitsev as additionally a notable expert marksman, because of the film Enemy at the Gates. It is an incredible film, and I wish I could say it was all evident. In any case, reality just goes similar to the clash of Stalingrad. There was no Nazi counter-sniper specialist, in actuality. Indeed, not to the degree spread out like in the film. Here's reality. Zaitsev was brought into the world in Yelenenskoy and experienced childhood in the Ural Mountains. His family name signifies, Rabbit. Before Stalingrad, he filled in as an agent in the Soviet Navy. In any case, subsequent to reading about the contention in the city, he chipped in for the forefront. He served in the 1047th Rifle Regiment. Zaitsev ran a rifleman school in the Matiz Industrial Facility. The cadets he trained were called Zaichata, meaning, Leverets, Baby Hares. This was the beginning of the expert sharpshooter development in the 62nd Armed Force. It is assessed that the snipers he trained executed in excess of 3,000 adversary soldiers. Zaitsev himself made 242 affirm slaughters between October 1942 and January 1943, yet the genuine number is likely more like 500. I realize I said there could have been no countermarksman, however there was Erwin Koenig. He was asserted to be an exceptionally gifted Wehrmacht rifleman. Zaitsev guaranteed in his journals that the duel occurred over a time of three days in the ruins of Stalingrad. Subtleties of what really happened are questionable, Yet before the finish of the three-day time frame, Zaitsev had killed the expert marksman and guaranteed his degree to be his most valued prize. For him to make this his most valued prize implies that this individual he slaughtered probably been nearly comparable to Zaitsev himself. 5. Lyudmila Pavlichenko. July 12, 1916 to October 10, 1974 Lyudmila M. Pavlichenko 309 confirmed kills in June 1941, Pavlichenko was 24, and Nazi Germany was invading the Soviet Union. She was among the main volunteers and requested to join the infantry. She was relegated to the Red Army's 25th Infantry Division. From that point, she got one of 2,000 female snipers in the Soviet forces. Her initial two murders were made close to Belyevka using a Mosin Nagant manual rifle with a PE-4 power scope. The principal activity she saw was during the contention in Odessa. She was there for more than two months and indented 187 kills. At the point when they had to move, she went through the following eight months fighting in Sevastopol on the Crimean Peninsula. There she recorded 257 executes, and for this accomplishment, she was referred to by the Southern Army Council. Pavlichenko's complete affirmed murders during World War II was 309 to 36 of those were adversary snipers. 4. Corporal Francis Pega Magabo. Walk 9, 1891 August 5, 1952 Francis Pega Magabo 378 confirmed executes. 300 plus captures three times granted a military decoration and twice truly injured, Pega Magabo was a specialist marksman and scout, credited with 378 German kills and capturing 300 plus more. He was an Ojibwe champion with the Canadians in fights like those at Mount Sorrel. As though killing almost 400 Germans wasn't sufficient, he was likewise granted decorations for running messages through extremely substantial adversary fire, for directing a significant aid projects when his commanding official was incapacitated, and for running through faux fire to get more ammunition when his unit was running low. Though a saint among his kindred troopers, he was essentially forgotten once he gotten back to Canada. In any case, he was quite possibly the best snipers of World War I. Kill your companions with a SEMA M187D bolt-action airsoft sniper rifle at Amazon.com. 3. 
Adelbert F. Waldron. Walk 14, 1933 October 18, 1995 Sniper 2 BMPXI 5109 affirmed kills Waldron once held the record for the most elevated number of affirmed slaughters for any American expert sharpshooter in history, until Chris Kyle, see above. Notwithstanding, it isn't only his great slaughter record that makes him truly outstanding, yet additionally his incredible accuracy. This extract from Inside the Crosshairs. Snipers in Vietnam by Colonel Michael Lee Lanning depicts exactly the thing I'm talking about. One evening, he was riding along the Mekong River on a tango boat when a faux rifleman on shore pecked away at the boat. While every other person on board strained to find the opponent, who was firing from the shoreline more than 900 meters away, Sergeant Waldron took up his expert rifleman rifle and chose off the Viet Cong from the top of a coconut tree with one shot, this from a moving stage. Such was the ability of our best expert sharpshooter. Nuff said. If there were a size of trouble for shots like these, it is close to difficult to beat. All things considered, we should attempt to do that anyway. Here's White Feather. 2. Carlos Norman Hathkick 2. May 20, 1942 to February 23, 1999911332042913342748 AF7C nicknamed Long Trung Du Kitch, or, White Feather, 93 confirmed kills Hathkick has perhaps the most amazing mission records of any expert marksman in the Marine Corps. We should disregard the many shooting titles he won. During the Vietnam War, he amassed 93 affirmed murders. The Vietnam Armed Force put a $30,000 abundance on his life for killing so many of their men. Prizes put on U.S. snipers by the NVA, North Vietnamese Army, regularly added up to say $8. It was Hathkick who discharged the most celebrated shot in sharpshooter history. He terminated a round over an extremely significant distance, which went through the extent of an adversary expert rifleman, hit him in the eye, and murdered him. Hathkick and Roland Burke, his spotter, were stalking the faux marksman, which had effectively slaughtered a few marines, which they accepted was shipped off execute him explicitly. At the point when Hathkick saw a glimmer of light reflecting off the adversary's extension, he discharged at it in a brief instant, pulling off quite possibly the most exact shots in history. Hathkick contemplated that the lone way this was conceivable would have been if the two snipers were aiming at one another's extensions all the while, and he terminated first. Notwithstanding, albeit the distance was rarely affirmed, Hathkick realized that it would have been simple for the two snipers to kill each other due to the flight time. The white plume was inseparable from Hathkick, he kept one in his cap, and he eliminated it just a single time for a mission. Remember that he chipped in for this mission, yet he needed to creep more than 1,500 yards of hostile area to shoot a NVA commanding general. Information wasn't sent until he was in transit. He chipped in for a mission he knew nothing about. It required four days and three evenings without rest of inch by inch crawling. One aggressor nearly stepped on him as he lay disguised in a knoll. At another point, he was almost nibbled by a snake, however he didn't flinch. He finally got into position and hung tight for the general. At the point when he showed up, Hathkick was prepared. He terminated one round and hit the general through the chest, killing him. The troopers began a quest for the expert sharpshooter, and Hathkick needed to slither back to keep away from discovery. They never got him, what nerves of steel. 1. Simo Heha. December 17, 1905 to April 1, 2002 Simo Heha S585 X361-1707 nicknamed, The White Death, 705 affirmed kills, 505 with a rifle, 200 with a submachine gun. Heha was a Finnish trooper who, using an iron-located manual rifle, amassed the most elevated recorded affirmed kills as a marksman in any conflict, ever. Heha was brought into the world in the district of Rautjärvi close to the present-day line of Finland and Russia and began his tactical help in 1925. His obligations as a sharpshooter started during the Winter War, 1939-1940, between Russia and Finland. During the contention, Heha suffered freezing temperatures up to 40 degrees Celsius. In under 100 days, he was credited with 505 affirmed kills, 542 if including unsubstantiated kills. Notwithstanding, the informal frontline figures from the combat zone put the quantity of expert marksman slaughters at more than 800. 
Other than his expert marksman slaughters, he was likewise credited with 200 from a Suomi KP-31 submachine firearm, topping off his all-out affirmed executes at 705. How Heiha did this was amazing. He was fundamentally on his own throughout the day, in the snow, shooting Russians, for a quarter of a year in a row. Obviously, when the Russians got wind that numerous warriors were being murdered, they thought, all things considered, this is battle, there will undoubtedly be setbacks. But when the officers were informed that it was one man with a rifle, they chose to make a touch of move. To begin with, they sent in a counter marksman. At the point when his body was returned, they chose to send in a group of counter snipers. At the point when they didn't return by any means, they sent in an entire goddamn force. They took setbacks and couldn't find him. In the end, they requested a cannon strike, however without much of any result. Heiha was smart, and this was his neck of the woods. He dressed totally in a white cover. He utilized a more modest rifle to suit his more modest casing, being just 5 feet 3 inches, and increase his precision. He utilized an iron sight to introduce the littlest conceivable objective, a checked sight would require the rifleman to raise his head for sighting. He compacted the snow before the barrel so as not to upset it when he shot, hence revealing his position. He likewise kept the snow in his mouth, so his breath didn't gather and uncover where he was. Ultimately, nonetheless, he was shot in the jaw by a wanderer projectile during a battle on March 6, 1940. He was gotten by his own troopers, who said a large portion of his head was missing. Notwithstanding, he didn't kick the bucket and regained cognizance on the 13th, the day Harmony was declared. Once again, absolute kills, 505 expert riflemen plus 200 submachine equals 705 all-out confirmed kills, all in under 100 days.